Let's pray. Almighty Lord, we want to thank you this morning, for you have been Lord of our lives. We thank you for the way you have been together with us. This far it has taken your hand. May you minister to us. We are your children. Let your Holy Spirit take over. In Jesus' name we pray. We are welcoming you this morning for our daily encounter. And the leading verse that we are going to read comes from the book of First Peter, chapter 5 and verse 8. And it says, Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around, rolling like a lion, looking for someone to devour. That is the word. Uh, we want to thank God for this opportunity that he has given us. As a Christian, we are required to have one essential character. It's a requirement for every Christian. Because, like the verse has told us, our enemy is prowling around, like crawling like a lion, looking for somebody to devour. Many Christians have their full armor with them. And the devil doesn't mind. He follows us around, letting us have that armor with us. But he's looking for that opportunity that we will put some of the armor or lay it down. And that is when he attacks. Like in the case that we were told yesterday about Gideon and the army, when they went to the river to drink, there are those who put their armor down so that they could drink with their hands. And there are those who knelt and using one hand, holding the armor, they used the other one to scoop water and drink. So the same thing happens to us. Most of the time we will go dressed in the whole armor of the Lord. May it be in functions like weddings, functions like when we are paying dowries, and the enemy will let us do the entire ceremony, dressed in full armor. But in between the issues, he will bring other issues, other sacrifices that we are ought to be giving. He mixes us and brings us from the light of the world or the word of God by breeding something innocent like alcohol in it. And we are told we have to do some special rituals with the alcohol so that we can bless our children. It makes us innocently lay our armor down. Sometimes, even at when we are paying the bride price, sometimes we find people who are invited, they come innocently. Once the preacher has, is through with the preaching and the Christian rituals are done, then the traditional people will come with their own things, looking innocently, but they are offering sacrifices that are not offered to our God. And it finds many Christians when they have put their armor down, because every ceremony as it was going on, it was fully Christian function. And they relax and they know we are in the middle of good things. Sometimes even with the bridals and baby showers, we find ourselves, we start with prayers very well. We even read the Bible and preach. But it reaches a place where we put our armor down because we are comfortable in the presence of the Lord. We are in the presence of Christians. But little do we know that the devil is prowling around and he will start bringing some issues, some rituals. He will bring alcohol inside. He will bring other things in the mix. By the time we are done is when we are realizing that we mixed ourselves with things that are ungodly because we were not vigilant enough. And that is why we are being told being vigilant is an essential requirement of a Christian. Many other times we attend churches and if we are not careful, we are mixed in rituals, especially looking for miracles and prosperity. We are given holy waters. We are given seeds. We are asked to offer things that are not in the Bible. Just because we were not vigilant enough, just because we are innocently in the presence of the altar of God, we forget to be vigilant enough to know whether the things that we are being committed to are truly godly. 
And that is how we end up mixing ourselves and coming out from of the love and grace and the true gospel of God. How I pray that in every circumstance and situation, regardless of where we are, we shall always be vigilant. That is the word of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord plants my feet on high.